Candidates for State Senator, District 10. Kirsten Engel. Party, Democratic. Campaign funding, traditional. Website, www.angleforarizona.com. As a two-term state representative, Kirsten Engel has demonstrated her passionate commitment to an Arizona that works for everyone. Whether that's valuing our public schools with competitive educator salaries and funding our classrooms, protecting our environment through clean energy and water conservation, or fighting for much needed criminal justice reform to reduce our fourth highest in the nation incarceration rate. Kirsten has been standing up for our values. She has served as a leader in the Arizona House on clean air, water security, and building a bipartisan coalition to enact meaningful criminal justice reform. Representative Engel is running for the State Senate to continue our fight for a more sustainable Arizona with an economy that gives everyone the tools and opportunity to succeed. She'll bring her unique experiences as a mom, an environmental lawyer, an educator, and a legislator to make Tucson and Arizona a better place to live, work, and retire. Justine Wadsack, Party Republican, Campaign Funding Participating, Website Wadsack for Arizona. Dot com. Justine is the Republican nominee for Arizona's LD10 State Senate in the November 3rd, 20 general election. She is a conservative Republican, 36 year strong Tucsonan, daughter of the American Revolution wife of 22-year retired Air Force major, mother of two children serving active duty in the USAF and U.S. Navy, and mother of two disabled teenagers. Justine has proudly stepped up to serve her beautiful state of Arizona next. Justine's career began in advertising, marketing, PR in Chicago, before coming home to produce halftime for NBA, NFL, and concerts for Arizona tribal nations. Today, she's a local small business owner, investor, realtor, known as the agent who gives back. After personally donating nearly $40,000 to military and first responders. She co-founded Tips for Tucson to help unemployed citizens during the COVID-19 pandemic. Justine has fought and won battles against state agencies DES, DDD, DCS, and TUSD for their blatant violations of basic human civil rights, civil liberties, constitutional law, ADA Title II, Section 504, and parents' rights under IDEA. FAPE ARS 1 601 and ARS 1 
1-800-242-6602. Justine stands for border security, pro-life, U.S. Constitution, no red flags, education reform, school choice, parents' rights, lower taxes, tax incentives, DCS reform, stop human trafficking, stop federal only voting, create new jobs, and mental health care, elderly care reform. Candidates for State Representative, District 10. Domingo de Grazia. Party, Democratic. Campaign funding, traditional. Website, www.degraziaforarizona.com. Domingo first ran for the Arizona House to fix Department of Child Services statutes to better protect our state's vulnerable youth. As a trial attorney representing families dealing with DCS, he saw firsthand how our laws could be changed even slightly to vastly improve outcomes for Arizona families. As one of only a few lawyers serving in the Arizona legislature, Representative De Grazia has been a staunch defender of the Constitution in fighting against unconstitutional bills on the Rules Committee and fighting for improving our democracy and defending our right to privacy on the government and judiciary committees. He has also worked hard on criminal justice reform, particularly on the Earned Release Credits Study Committee. After his first session in 2019, Domingo became a certified information privacy professional and worked with stakeholders from the technology sector, the European Union, and other states to craft crucial data and biometric privacy bills. Domingo is running for re-election because he knows how to work with representatives from all backgrounds and interests to pass bills that protect Arizonans and build a better future for everyone. Mabel Gomery, Party Republican. Campaign funding, participating. Website, Mobile, the number four, ld10.com. My name is Mobile Gummery, and I humbly ask for your vote for House of Representatives in LD10. Tucson is my home where I raised my son, sold homes to families, and then built and ran a small business. I work hard, solve problems, and know the meaning of value in our lives. Our children's education is a quagmire that is ridiculous and unacceptable. The value of owning a home is simply unquestionable. Government regulations should never bind our teachers and parents or our ability to build and own a home. And right now, they do. Police and military must be fully funded for our safety. I am running because I love Tucson and I love people and will always be available to talk and listen to you. 
I remember one of the happiest days of my mother's life was the day she received her citizenship. Her belief that anything is possible with hard work and dedication inspired me to become anything I wanted to be. I want to be your LD10 representative and I'm asking for your vote. Taking the oath to represent you as a first generation American will be one of the happiest days in my life. Michael Hicks, party Republican, campaign funding traditional, website Hicks, the number four, Tucson.com. Michael moved to Tucson with his family at an early age. He has two beautiful children, Michael Lewis and Danielle Christine. Michael obtained his associate's degree in arts from Pima Community College and his Bachelor of Science in Leadership and Management from Charter Oaks State College. Michael is currently the MIS and ITS Director for the City of Tucson's Transit Services. For more than 26 years, he has worked diligently to improve the use of information and communications technology for transportation infrastructure and vehicles. Michael shares his knowledge with students by teaching information technology classes at Pima Community College since the mid 80s. In his weekend spare time, Michael works as a Motorcycle Safety Foundation MSF rider coach, teaching new riders how to ride. He also teaches the Harley Davidson's Rider Academy. Michael serves as a State of Arizona local board member for the Selective Service Board. He served on the Tucson Unified School District number one for eight years and ended his term as the president of the school board. Michael believes in full disclosure and is committed to bringing full transparency to the state of Arizona and the Tucson community. Thank you for your vote. Stephanie Stahl Hamilton. Party Democratic. Campaign funding traditional. Website www.hamilton, the number four, house.com. Serving the public is Stephanie Stahl, Hamilton's calling and vocation. As the wife of a public middle school teacher and mom of three children, Education has always been a top priority. She has spent her personal and professional life advocating for the needs of children in her community. Stephanie served on several TUSD committees, organized parents when her kids' school was on the closure list, and was hired as regional lead for Save Our Schools in 2018. Through it all, she saw how the legislature has failed Arizona families, especially our most vulnerable populations, and decided to run for office to create change. Born in Flagstaff, 
Stephanie spent her childhood years growing up on Navajo tribal lands. Tucson has been her home since 2003. As an ordained minister in the Presbyterian Church, she spent six years working as the executive director of Montelor Presbyterian Church Camp. Stephanie knows how to help constituents access the services they need and overcome the challenges they face. With an eye to the future, she is committed to putting in place policies that create opportunities for Arizona kids and families and safeguarding resources so that generations beyond will have what they need to succeed. Paul Stapleton Smith. Party Democratic. Campaign funding traditional. Website Paul S S for Arizona. Dot com. I am a fierce fighter for an Arizona that works for all of us. I believe in an economy that works for all of us, not just for the rich. We all do better when we all do better, as this pandemic is demonstrating. My family taught me that all work and community service is noble and has value. They were public school teachers, policemen, union iron workers and miners, grocery store workers, real estate agents, and wait staff. They often worked multiple jobs to make ends meet. When they encountered injustice, they stood up and fought back. I represent our working families, retirees, and our veterans on the following boards, councils, and commissions. Pima County Workforce Investment Board. Board of Directors, and Policy Committee, United Way of Tucson and Southern Arizona, CTE Quality Skills Commission, Arizona Department of Education, Pima County JTED Business and Industry Council, Legislative and Community Services Committees, Pima Area Labor Federation, AFL-CIO, Precinct 123 Committee Person. Former service includes Pima County Democratic Party Executive Committee, LD10 Board, State Party Committeeman, Chair, Pima Area Labor Federation, AFL-CIO, Executive Council Arizona, AFL-CIO, PCDP Education and Labor Caucus President, El Dorado Homeowners Association, Professional Development Trainer, Arizona Career and Technical Education.